Shalom. I'm here to tell you about the grand finality and the great crescendo of the end of our high holiday season. Upcoming, first we have Hoshana Rabbah. Hoshana Rabbah is called the Big Hoshana, celebrated on Friday morning. What happens at Hoshana Rabbah? Well, every other day of Sukkot, we walk around the synagogue one time, taking the Torah out, waving our lulav and etro, praying to God each day a special blessing. But on Hoshana Rabbah, seven times, we gathered together just like they did in the ancient temple and we walked around and part of the symbolism is praying for rain and part of it is asking God to bestow blessings upon us for the new year. So Hoshana Rabbah, the big Hoshana, we need you there and we hope that you'll want to come to participate in that beautiful event together. But there's more. After Hoshana Rabbah, we have an extra holiday called Shmini Atzeret. Shmini Atzeret, the eighth day of pausing, of stopping, and that takes place on Shabbat. Why Shmini Atzeret? The Torah tells us after the seven days of Sukkot, we have an extra day that the Midrash came to fill in to say, God doesn't want you to just go back home and forget all about this amazing season of prayer and community that we celebrated together. God says, stay with me one extra day. Just like a king who throws a big party in his palace and invites everyone to come for seven days and enjoy and celebrate and eat and drink and be merry and festive. And then it's like, no, don't go home. Just stay for one more day because I loved having you around so much. So that's the energy of Shemini Atzeret. On that day, we also recite the Yizker prayer, remembering our loved ones and bringing that energy of remembrance into a holy moment of dwelling for one more day together with the divine and together in community. But that's not all. That night, Saturday night, we come together to celebrate Simcha Torah, the celebration of Torah. There's no holiday that really explains the Jewish calendar and the rhythm of Jewish life better than Simchat Torah, a time when we close the cycle of reading of the Torah with the very last Parsha of Parshat Devarim, and then we begin the new beginning of the Torah cycle with Bereshit. The coolest thing, in my opinion, about Simcha Torah is that we read the Torah at night. In our tradition, we typically read the Torah in the day, except for one night of the entire year. We take these Torahs out. We dance with them all throughout the sanctuary. We go out into the street, and we are so enthusiastic about our love for Torah that we can't contain it anymore. We dance and we sing, and then we put the scroll down and we read from it. The next day is Simchat Torah, and we celebrate once again with the reading of the Torah, beginning with Bereshit. And if you are in our J-Learning community, some of us will be out in the park on Sunday, celebrating in an open space the beauty of Torah. So you see all these Torahs here? Every single one of them is coming out on Saturday night to be danced with, to be loved, to be held, to be upheld, to be lifted, to be joined together. But it's not done alone. It's done with you. It's done with all of us. We hope to see you for the celebration of Torah, the celebration of Sukkot, of the end of Sukkot. I should also mention on Shemini Atzera, we pray for rain, for Geshem, one time a year that we bring all that intensity of really asking for blessing of rain in its proper time and the right amount of rain. So that's taking place in the next few days as well. Looking forward to joining together, to dance besimcha, to be together in community with great love and great hope and expectation for a wonderful year. Lahitra Oats.